Paramahamsa Nityananda, a compelling spiritual force of our millennium, founder of an international socio-spiritual movement, pioneer of a modern Vedic renaissance. Born in the sacred town of Tiruvannamalai, a yogi by birth, fearless spiritual explorer, beacon of divine power, Paramahamsa Nityananda is today an inspiration for millions on the path. Adept in ancient mystical yogic sciences, researcher of the science of spirituality, guru for enlightenment. Every year, Paramahamsa Nityananda shares with over one crore people worldwide the treasures of his wisdom, the joy of his laughter, and the incomparable power of his initiation. Now, Paramahamsa Nityananda speaks on Living Enlightenment, Solutions for Blissful Living. Join us for an unforgettable spiritual experience. What is your belief? Belief is nothing but the words and ideas and truths put inside you. Whom you believe will not harm you. When some ideas, beliefs have been put inside you by your parents or friends or relatives whom you trust will not think bad for you, will do only good for you. Those ideas are only becoming belief in you. That is why friendliness plays such a major component in teaching. But unfortunately, after certain level, friendliness cannot help in teaching. Please understand. To make you comfortable in the same spectrum you are living is different. Raising you completely to the different spectrum is different. When you need to be risen, when you need to be raised completely to the different spectrum, the ideas which got into your system, which was given to you by the deep friendliness by your friends or relatives or family, will not be sufficient. Understand? Because they themselves, they may not think bad for you, but what they think as a good itself has its own limitations. They cannot think even in the line of good, auspiciousness, right, beyond certain level. If a beggar thinks all good should happen to you, what he will imagine? You should have enough food and a house to rest, nobody should ask you work. For a beggar, this is ultimate, over. He is not going to think, let you become enlightened. You go to a temple, you come out and on the way there is a beggar, you give him some 100 rupee and suddenly he is shocked by 100 rupee because nobody gives him more than 1 rupee and he sees 100 rupee and This guy immediately want to give his gratitude to you, he blesses, let you have all good things. So what do you think he will be visualizing in the mind? Plates and plates of food and a comfortable house, freedom, so that nobody will ask you to work. That's all he can think. 
understand. He cannot visualize enlightenment and tell you, let you have enlightenment. No. That's not going to happen. So the very thinking, see, it is not that beggar wants any good, bad for you. He wants only good. Even that he can imagine or think only to a certain level. All your beliefs, ideas are nothing but people who think good for you but who are good for nothing. They think good for you but they themselves are good for nothing. They are good for only to the level an ordinary logic can function. If he is little intelligent man, he will say, all right, not only food and the house, let him have health also. Let him have a little bank balance also. Let him have a good wife. That much he can think. Not further. The beliefs, ideas, you think good for you, put by the people who are good for nothing, he is only now fighting when the master tries to teach you something. It is the remains of your parents and family and society and school which is sitting in you, is fighting with the remainder by existence. Master is a reminder to you by existence. Come back home. For a long time you are out. Get back. Is a reminder to you from the existence. Unfortunately, remains of the society in you fights the reminder. Here, reminder comes down to the level of the remains of the society in you. Bhagavan is not even saying, I wanted to impose something newly on you. Let me come down. What you feel as a good, what you feel as a right, what you believe, what has got into your system by the people whom you don't suspect. When your friend says, hey, study well, get a job, naturally, he is not thinking bad for you. But the fool can think only that much. Many times, the ideas put inside your head by the people who don't think bad for you does not mean Always those ideas are good for you. Bhagavan says, all right, whatever is said and done, all those ideas from the friends, family, society has gone into your system and become a bio-memory, like a calculus. It has settled in your system. Now, it may be difficult for you to clear that. Let me come down to your level. Whatever ideas you already believe, which is put inside you by society, let me work with those ideas and liberate you, give you the truth. O Bharata, all life forms are unmanifest initially. Very beautifully, Bhagavan is using the word life forms. He is not using life. Life forms. All life forms are unmanifest initially. Then in the middle, they become manifest. And finally, become imperceivable once again. Then what lamenting can be there regarding this? Understand, all of you have assumed your body with certain purpose. Nobody can destroy that purpose. Even if they try to destroy this body, the purpose is so powerful, it will assume one more body and do the job. All you need to do is stop grieving. There is nothing to lament.
welcome to inner awakening the most powerful personal transformation retreat you could ever experience in just 21 days thousands are already experiencing the shortest route to constantly high energy levels visible anti-aging healing of chronic diseases fulfilling relationships and higher states of consciousness what is the secret behind this transformation kundalini means the inner potential energy once it is awakened opens the different doors for the conscious experience in you i can say which is a master key for all extraordinary spiritual experience this extraordinary program is conducted personally by paramahamsa nityananda in the vibrant atmosphere of nityananda dhyanapitam ashram open yourself to the benefits of nitya yoga and practical meditation experience physical and mental healing discover simple ways to handle life with success above all enjoy individual darshan and blessings from paramahamsa nityananda every day take 21 days for yourself and carry home the transformation of a lifetime <laughs>